What's going on guys? It is Kyle again with DTOM Knives and Gear and today we have a very special knife. I say that all the time but this is truly special. This is a knife sent to me by my buddy Jake over at Bearded Gear. This is the Finch Runtley, the yellow belly version. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Okay, going over to this knife today. Jake is such an awesome dude. Guys, if you have not checked out Jake over at Bearded Gear, well, I know you have. If you're on my channel, you definitely know his channel. But if you have come across this video because you've been thinking about this awesome knife and haven't been a member of the channel, first, subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, second, go check out Mr. Bearded Gear. He is awesome. He is a YouTuber that uh, is basically killing it right now. He's been doing it just about as long as I have, and he is killing it. Great content, great guy. Go see him. Go ahead and stop the video. Come back and see mine later. All right. Um, he sent me this knife. Uh, he sent me a couple knives to check out, and whoa, the Koenig Arius was the one of them. And uh, if you haven't seen my review on that, uh, I encourage you to do so. Uh, spoiler alert, I love it. And this was the other one. Uh, and I'm really excited that he sent both of these along because the Koenig Arius was one that I use or would use for a primary knife to go in my right front pocket. This one, however, is a little smaller. And if you are a member of my channel, you know that small knives are not usually my thing because of my big meat hooks here. But I'm glad he sent those together because I was able to carry the Koenig Arius and this knife, the Finch Runtley, as a backup or a secondary blade. Uh, so that was super cool, super fun. I usually carry, well, I shouldn't say that. I sometimes carry a secondary blade. I've been doing it a lot more here lately because I've been testing out a bunch of knives, and so I usually have more than one on me to use throughout the day to do for testing. Uh, this one was a dream for a secondary knife, something for very light duty. This is the Finch Runley, and it is the fit and finish. Holy crap. The fit and finish on this thing is great. Uh, Finch knife is actually out of Kansas, but I believe they get these things are made by uh, Best Tech knives. Uh, and I've had, you know, I've only held a couple of Best Techs, but the ones that I've had have been well, I mean, quality has been good. This thing surpasses the ones that I've other knives that I've held uh, from Best Tech. Um, this one, of course, is the Yellow Belly. And as you can see there, the G10 is done sweet. It looks kind of like a wood grain pattern there on the yellow G10. Just super freaking cool, man. It feels good. It looks good. I am not a yellow guy usually, <laughs> unless it's my, my flag here. Uh, but it really works on this knife, I, I have to admit. Matter of fact, when I first saw Jake... Uh, post a video on this knife, I was like, you know what? I don't think I've ever bought a yellow knife and it never crossed my mind, but man, does it work on this knife. And it does. I freaking love it. Um, now, I looked right before I uh, started filming this and I can't find any of the yellow versions out there. You might could, but I couldn't. The ones that I could find are uh, actually have the DLC coated blade and they have like a JG10, a green, a red. So they have a few different color options, but I could not find the yellow uh, and with the satin blade. Look at that friggin' awesome blade shape. Uh, got a level one cliff. Um, this one is done exceptionally well uh, because it is super duper slicey. Uh, this thing is basically a package open um, phenomenon. It works super duper well because it has this point. And I'm talking about those plastic clamshell uh, packages as well as boxes, but um, because you have this really, really nice point on there to get in there and slice that packaging open, this thing measures around 16 thousandths behind the edge. <laughs> so yeah, it slices and it does a great job at it. Uh, this particular knife, it does have, I believe this is a titanium pocket clip uh, and it works phenomenal. Uh, this one is like a fifth pocket knife for me. So, you know, that little extra pocket that you have, I guess some people call it a coin pocket. Some people call it a watch pocket, but it's my secondary knife pocket for me. So, uh, but it fits very well in that pocket. The, the pocket clip works extremely well. Good tension. Um, I have no problems with that. Of course, you know, it's not exactly deep carry, but it's a secondary knife and I don't really care. Um, I don't care anyway, so you guys know that. 
Uh, something else really cool about it is this little crest. First of all, I love the way it looks. The little crest that they have on these things. Super cool. I actually, I think it looks classy. Looks really cool. Um, but it does have, um, or is glow in the dark. This little portion right here. Um, which is cool. However, I didn't really find it, I didn't really find it useful or <laughs> really that it worked all that often because the knife goes in my pocket and you know, it's, it's going in my pocket like this and this is covered up most of the time. Uh, and for it to be able to glow, it has to be basically charged with light and then it'll glow. So if it's covered up all the time and then you pull your knife out to use it in the dark, it's not going to, you're not going to be able to find it. So I don't know how useful it is, but it's a cool feature that this does glow in the dark. Um, so yeah, very simple construction. Of course, I did not take this apart because this is not my knife, but a very simple construction, yellow backspacer, steel liners, just an absolute, just fit and finish. I really can't get over. Now, the knife itself is in Bowler N690, which is a great steel. Uh, on paper, I have really never had another knife in the Bowler N690. Was a, obviously not able to test this one uh, for a very long period of time to find out, you know, how well this steel really works as far as edge retention and whatnot. But uh, as far as on paper, it's a good steel. Um, it does have a very, very nice edge. Like I said, very thin behind the edge. Uh, you have kind of a uh, tumbled finish on the uh, primary bevel here and then a satin where the uh, the flat is with finch on one side, N690, N690, and then the Runtley on the other. So, you know, not much billboarding. Uh, I love the font. You know, the fact that it just has finch right there and that it's in big bold letters, I don't mind at all. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, the action. This thing is surprisingly pretty damn sweet as far as the action. Now you do have a nail nick here if you just want to pull the knife out and uh, use it basically as a traditional, which I think this is kind of what this thing was designed for, you know, to kind of have the the traditional look, but also have modern materials and a flipper, you know, I, I think that was the intent. Uh, but as far as the flipping action, it's freaking, it's money. Uh, it's definitely a... Uh, snappy little knife the when you close it and get past the detent just a little bit of a shake and it comes back down so super cool uh it's really really a nice like i said secondary option i the the jimping on this thing i don't think it's needed uh but it's done very well uh on the knife gammon uh, you know that's the kind of tighter jimping that i like so it's not too aggressive uh, so very well done on the, uh, on the jimping has jimping, of course, on the flipper tab, which is behind here and on top. I'm not sure why it's behind. Well, I guess I know. So when you flip it, it does really well. And then you can put your finger up here when you're holding the knife. Uh, and that kind of leads us to the ergonomics. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, <coughs> excuse me, and these huge, massive things, it's not very comfortable in the hand for me because it's really only a three finger knife. Um, even if I choke up and put my finger here without getting into the edge, uh, and even then you can tell my finger is actually in the cutting path. Um, it's just not that comfortable for me. It's a three finger knife. And for light duty task, I can hold it here and do what I got to do. Uh, it's just not all that comfortable. Um, I'm very, I'm used to bigger knives. You guys know that. Uh, so, it, you know, I'm a little biased when it comes to the size of the knife. Uh, that being said, as far as a secondary blade or if somebody just wants a tiny little thing that they can carry every single day and it basically excel in the everyday task that you have to do, uh, especially in like an office setting, which is opening letters, packages, uh, you know, cutting a few boxes, the even your your zip ties and whatnot this thing really does well uh, i have to admit you know i can't get a full grip to be able to do any kind of hard work but that's not what this knife is designed for this knife is designed to get done those cutting tasks that you have on an everyday basis uh you know and uh and carry comfortably this thing is let's see i think uh yeah i wrote it down here this is a uh, 3.2 ounces so as far as to the size that might be a little bit heavy but you know 3.2 ounces i think it's just fine i carry this in the fifth pocket hardly i hardly really know that it's there um and you know 
it's a small one so the overall length is only about five and three quarter inches you have a blade length of two and uh five eight, or sorry two and three eighths and then the cutting edge of two inches 0.125 um it's only about 120 thousand stick here so i like that size of blade stock on this knife and then, like I said, it comes really thin of about 16 thousandths behind the edge. So I've never sharpened N690 before. Uh, I imagine it would be good. I mean, it's definitely sharp. I'm not, I don't know if Jake has sharpened this at all, but I know he's used it a lot and it's still got a pretty good edge on it. So, uh, so I like that. As you can see, uh, as far as this tip, I think you can see, you know, the tip is not delicate, but not beefy. Um, you know, this one cliff style blade, like I said, I think it just is a perfect EDC blade shape for the office setting. I, I really do. It really, it blew, it kind of blew me away the uh, with the thinness behind the edge on uh, how slicey it was and how easily I could cut through things because I can't hold onto the knife like I really want to and how I usually feel so locked in. Um, but, you know, it didn't really matter because, well, I was just slicing through things uh, like crazy because it is such a, a well ground knife. So I do appreciate the fact that they still keep the nail nick on there to keep that traditional style, uh, on the knife. You know, that's, that's really cool. I love the yellow. I love the pocket clip. It's just really, really cool knife. I was really excited, uh, when I first got this. Um, but when, whenever I put it in hand, you know, I was like, oh, I knew it was going to be small. So let's give it a shot. And, you know, it's definitely doable. It's workable, especially for a backup blade. Uh, I wouldn't want this as a primary knife. Um, but uh, for anybody who has smaller-ish hands and they're looking for something they can carry every day that's kind of small, compact, and uh, just used to, to cut stuff, man, I'm telling you, you can't get more classier looking than this thing. I really, really, and Finch Knife Company has made a bunch of different knives that Jake over at Bearded Gear has actually had and uh, and reviewed, so I, I urge you to go check him out. Uh, the one that I think would fit my hand more, he does. He has one called the uh, Tycoona, and I, it's a little bit longer, or um, yeah, it's a longer, bigger blade uh, that I think would be cool. Uh, I will say this, I didn't expect, so I got the, the finger, or the um, flipper tab, you know, and it's a detent that's awesome. And I actually can get my middle finger. Oh, God, I failed it. Middle. Oh, my God. I swear I can do it. Uh, get it behind the uh, the nail nick and uh, do the reverse flick. <laughs> it's not the easiest, obviously. I'm trying to do it behind the camera. But cut me some slack. But it can't. Mm can be done. Um, so that's obviously how I really prefer to open the knife, uh, just because it is a challenge and it makes me happy. But the detent on the flipper, can't beat it. Really, really nice. Uh, so guys, if you uh, are thinking about picking one of these up, I'm pretty sure, I mean, they're readily available. Uh, you might not be able to get the exact uh, color combo that you want, uh, but they're readily available. And, um, you know, Finch Knife Company has uh, apparently just great people working over there. Jake has raved about them because he's talked to them, of course, a lot more uh, than anybody that I know of who's talked to him in the a YouTube community, and he raves about them. And then, of course, he's got a bunch of other models that, that are super, super duper cool. So definitely go check that out from him. I appreciate you stopping by and checking it out with me, guys. I really think that this knife would be perfect for a lot of people. I think it just is so different, but not too different. I, I don't know if that makes any sense uh, that I think people will really fall in love with this. And it's been a very popular model, so um, I can definitely see. And the price is right. I mean, really, 145 bucks. Uh, for this guy, I think that is, uh, I think that's great. I mean, I don't think it's overpriced at all. I think it's well worth that money, uh, because the fit and finish is just excellent. So, um, uh, anyways, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by and checking it out with me. If you like this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, because I do giveaways every single month and you will be notified when that happens. I'm also, uh, looking to get the, uh, EDC, uh, going gear EDC subscription box here in the next day or two. Mm, well, it might, it might it might not be here till Saturday, but anyway, so stay tuned for that. We get some really cool gear every month from Going Gear at ED, uh, Going Gear EDC subscription box. It's so cool. Uh, so, anyways, guys, you stay safe in this crazy world that we're living in, and we will see you in the next. One.